So the idea of Webflow Cloud is that you can have a Webflow powered marketing site with an app built with whatever you want behind it. Super cool, but getting started is a little bit of a pain. So I've made this boilerplate that's gonna make your life a whole bunch easier. Now I'm gonna show you first of all, what it is, how it works and what it looks like. Then after that, we're gonna do a step-by-step -step tutorial that you can follow along with to get this set up as well. So first things first, demo time. This is the login screen that we have. We also have a sign-up screen. There is a complete forgotten password flow. This email and password login works, but along with that, I can just go ahead and click login with Google and right out of the box, Google Auth works perfectly. You don't even need to open the Google Developer Console. Now we can see we have a beautiful dashboard here made with ShadCN. So if you don't know what ShadCN is, it's gonna make your front end development process so much easier. Whether you're vibe coding or whether you are just raw dog writing the code, whatever your vibe is, this is going to make your life a lot easier. Now. I can go down here and as we can see, I am logged in with my profile picture, with my name. This is not a placeholder. This is my actual account data. So when you test this as well, you're gonna see your info right there. I can edit my account. If I created a password, I can change my password. So everything is configured for you. The only thing left to do is build the actual app. This is your perfect starting point. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you how to get that set up right now. First things first, go to the GitHub link in the description below. This one here, it says Webflow Cloud Auth. And then there is a terminal command down here. I'm gonna walk you through everything step by step. If you're not a developer, do not worry. This is going to be super easy to follow along with. So the next thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is create a folder on my computer. I've already created one here, boilerplate test three. And I'm gonna start a new terminal tab. You can see that I clicked ghosty. If you just use the default terminal, that's perfectly fine. And then you're gonna to wanna to run this command right here in that terminal. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna clone the repo, it's gonna make a new folder, and then it is going to install the dependencies all in one command ready for you to go. So it is done. And now if I look at that folder, which I created, as we can see, there is now a Webflow Cloud auth folder inside of it, and it has all this stuff in it. If you want to, you can drag it out into the root of your folder, or you can just leave it there. I'm gonna do that. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open this folder in a code editor of your choice. Maybe you use cursor, maybe you use VS Code, whatever it is, I'm just gonna use it in VS Code. And then we can see all sorts of stuff here. And you might be a bit scared right now if you're not a developer, but don't worry, we really don't need to touch very much in the code. There's just one thing. You can see this .env.example file up here. You're gonna to wanna to right click on that, click rename, and then all you're gonna to wanna to do is actually delete the word example and that final dot. So it's just .env, just like that. So now we have this, and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create a new member stack app. I've already done that. So I have a blank free member stack app right here. Now I'm gonna to go to DevTools. First things first, make sure you're on test mode. If you're not, just click this, it'll bring you to test mode. Now we have two different things, two different API keys here. We have public key and we have secret key. I have to click this little eyeball to reveal it. I'm not gonna do that on camera. Um, and as you can see here, we have public key and we have secret key followed by two quotation marks. What you're gonna wanna do is copy both of these, paste them into this file, right here, so public key would go here and secret key would go here. Then you're gonna to wanna to save the file. That is it. So I'm gonna do that right now, not gonna show you that, and then I will get back to you. All right, so just like that, I have put my API keys into the file. I have saved it, we're good to go. It takes like two seconds. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go over to your terminal and just type in npm run dev, just like that, and hit enter. The next thing that's gonna happen is it is going to generate a link for you should be this, localhost 3000. Might be 3001 if you have something else running. Who knows? Whatever it is, open it. So localhost 3000 right there. It's gonna load for a sec and compile. And then it is going to show us exactly what I showed you, the demo. So this is now working in a local environment. Let's go ahead and test that. I'm just gonna click sign up. I'm gonna click sign up with Google. I'm gonna select my Google account. And again, if it brings me into the platform, Google Auth works, I can go ahead and check in member stack to see if everything is going as it needs to. So as we can see here, the member has been created. If I go into member stack and click on members, we can also refresh. And then we should be able to see that the member has been created just like that. 
That means this is completely working in our local environment. That's a huge milestone. The next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is push this to a new GitHub repo. So go ahead and make a GitHub repo. I have one here, boilerplate test three. It's just a blank repo. You can do public or private. It doesn't matter. Just go ahead and create it. Copy the link to that repo, just like that. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is push that code. So that folder that we've cloned, you're gonna to wanna to push that into this repo. Now, if you're a developer, you already know how to do that. I'm not gonna explain it to you. It's pretty simple. If you're not, then what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to your terminal. I use Claude code. If you haven't vibe coded before, video with the link in the description, I explained how to get all this stuff, including Claude code, set up from scratch. So I'm gonna start a new tab and I am going to run Claude. Now that Claude is running, I'm actually going to paste that in. And what I'm gonna to say to it is, could you push all of this code into my new GitHub repo that I have created? That's it, Claude is gonna know what to do. It's gonna be super simple. I'm gonna write my prompt now, let it run, and I'll come back to you. All right, so it says it's done. I'm gonna go ahead and just refresh this page and we should be able to see Look at that, all of that code right in there, ready to go. So this is our version control now. So you can go ahead and make changes to the code, push them to GitHub every single time. Again, if you're vibe coding, it's as simple as saying to Claude code, push to GitHub. If you're a developer, then well, you already know how to do that. So, all right, we have this now. And the final thing we need to do is get this running. We have our local environment set up and it's in GitHub. How do we deploy it now with Webflow Cloud? The good news is it's super duper easy. So I have a Webflow site set up here. Nothing special. It's literally a client first clonable that I cloned like 10 minutes ago and uh, it's blank. So now I'm gonna go over here in the project settings to Webflow Cloud. If you're not logged in with GitHub yet, it's gonna ask you to log in with GitHub, do that, then go ahead and click on create new project. I'm just gonna name this like Webflow Cloud Auth, and then you're gonna to wanna to select your GitHub repo. So I'm gonna search for mine, which is boilerplate test three. You can set a description if you want. I'm just gonna leave it blank. Don't need to touch advanced settings. Click on create project. And then you are going to need to select a branch. As we can see here, I have main. If you don't see anything, it's because you haven't pushed it to GitHub yet. So push it to GitHub and then you're gonna see main. Then mount path. So this basically just means where do you want it to go? Like if you go to mywebflowsite.webflow.io slash chickens slash what? So slash app is probably what you're gonna wanna do. That's what I'm doing here. You should probably do the same. Click on create environment. Just like that, it has been created successfully. Now it says you need to republish your site and push a commit to this branch before your app will be deployed. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on publish. And the next thing that I'm gonna do is click here and then click on main. And then you can see environment variables. So remember how we added to that .env file, those variables? We're gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing in here. So I'm gonna show you how to do it now with the public key, then I'm gonna do it with the secret key and private because it's a secret key and then I'll get back to you. So first things first, click on add variable, and then you're gonna to wanna to copy the name. So in this case, it is next public member stack public key. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that and paste it in. And then I am going to get my public key, paste it into variable value. And you do not need to set this here secret variable. You can just you know leave this for the public key, but I'm gonna do my secret key after and you are definitely gonna to wanna to click secret variable for that. So anyways, add variable, gonna do my secret key now and I'll get back to you. All right, so once you've done that, you should see something like this, member stack secret key, value should be like a bunch of dots cause it's secret, next public member stack key and your public key. So that is it. Now we go to deployment history, we can see there's nothing. The next thing we need to do is hit deploy latest GitHub commit right there and then we're just gonna need to wait. Webflow Cloud is gonna take a little bit to do this, probably between like one and three minutes. So stand by, once that's done, we're gonna see what we're left with. All right, so just like that, it took about four minutes in total and it finished. So we can see here there is environment URL. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that. And as we can see, it's loading and we can see our login page. So the next thing that I'm gonna to wanna to do is just test this to make sure that everything is working as it should be. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on sign up. I'm gonna click on sign up right there and I'm gonna click on this Google account. Takes me over here. As we can see now, there is a different profile picture, different email and all of that. So this is now working perfect. You have officially launched a Webflow Cloud app with authentication 
ready to go. So all you need to do now is go ahead and well, develop whatever it is that you've been wanting to develop, build whatever Webflow site it is that you've been wanting to build. It's very easy to get this set up. Everything else is just up to your imagination. So that's it. I hope you like this video and I really hope you like this boilerplate. I'll see you in the next one and have a great day.